It's usually the intern or the first year staff that is tasked with tying everything out. I want you guys to be as familiar as possible with it upon you starting your career. What does a 10K look like? What does a 10Q look like? Welcome back to my channel guys. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Nicole and I'm so happy you clicked on this video. So in this video, I am going to be giving you guys some advice as to how to prepare you for your career in public accounting. So this is mainly for those of you who are starting off in audit, but I think those of you who are starting off in tax and in advisory can also benefit from this just because you never know when they're gonna pull you out of your service line and have you help out in the audit department. So if you're starting off at Big Four or you just wanna learn more about what accountants do, then make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So you guys, I thought this would be a good video to do because I know a lot of you guys are starting in this upcoming fall. Some of you are starting in August, some of you are starting September, October, whatever it may be, I think this video is gonna be helpful for you. So the very first thing that I think you need to be, um, that you need to have, or you just need to be prepared for when starting off in public accounting is a good attitude. You're gonna need a good attitude because you're gonna have so many things thrown your way. There's there's gonna be things that you're not gonna understand. There's gonna be some tasks. There's going to be some tasks that are gonna be asked of you that you might not understand right away, but in everything you need to have a good attitude. So when you are an intern or your very first year, it's not really about how much you know exactly coming out of college, but it's really about how are you with your people skills? How are you working as a team working in a team setting as a team player? How do you handle how do you handle being given assignments and being given tasks okay so you really have to have a very good attitude you need to be willing to learn you need to put all of your pride aside everything you think you know you really don't know and you are going to be learning it on the job I have my notes here just so that I don't lose track in this video. The next thing that I'm going to say is be flexible. You are going to need to be flexible if you are going into the public accounting world, whether it be starting off at a big four or a mid-tier firm, you need to be flexible because you, you might think you're gonna be doing one thing, but then you can get pulled away into doing another thing. Um, sometimes you're gonna be assigned, sometimes you're gonna be unassigned for a week or so. So you need to be able to know how to do that. You, you need to be flexible with, with navigating that. And sometimes your schedule is gonna say that you are unassigned and then in the middle of the work week on a Wednesday, they're gonna tell you that on Thursday morning you need to be at a client because you're gonna help out for two days. That is my, that's something that I had to do a lot in my public accounting experience. You get jumped around a lot if needed be, especially if, um, if your main client, if it's kind of quiet for your main client, you're gonna hop on and help out other teams, especially right now where the workforce is struggling a little bit to retain people you just need to be prepared and flexible to move around and then also i do know that there are some firms that if you're working in tax or in advisory but audit is struggling they're gonna have you jump out for maybe a couple of days or a couple of, of weeks to help out an audit team so just being able to have that flexibility is helpful and the other there's a train going by <laughs> And the other thing that with the flexibility is in case of travel. So there's going to be instances where you might have to travel to a client, whether it be just locally, um, or whether it be traveling like an hour out, two hours out, or getting on a plane and going into a different location for the client, or going to help out another team you need to be flexible with that. You could travel at any given time. Um, that doesn't happen too often. Usually they prepare you for that, but you just never know, so be flexible. Next thing is Excel. You need to have familiarity with Excel. You need to be able to know Excel to the best of your ability. I don't think you need to know all the ins and outs, but at least take your time before getting started to really go through Excel, learn some of the basic skills, and I am going to have a, another video touching all about Excel, so stay tuned for that. 
but make sure that you guys know as much as possible about Excel. Know the basic functions in Excel. It's really going to help you out because a majority of your worksheets and your work papers is Excel based. A lot of the support that the client is going to be giving you is Excel based. You're going to have to be looking at the trial balance. You're going to have to be looking at the at the um, at the balance sheet, the income statement. All of that is pretty much Excel. No matter what software that it's that is generated from it usually converts to excel or even power bi so your analytic skills is going to have to come into play a little bit so definitely no excel and with that is knowing the financial statements it's very important that you have at least a general background as to what a financial what the financial statements look like what does the income statement look like what does the balance sheet look like what does the statement of cash flows look like because nine times out of ten especially when you are starting off you are going to be helping with footing and tying everything out at the end of the audit right before filing it's usually the intern or the first year staff that is tasked with tying everything out once all the financial statements have been completed you are going to be comparing your financial statement that your firm that your firm has generated compared to what the client had given you and making sure that everything is tying out and then you are going to have to tie that out to usually to the 10k or review the 10k which is my next point you need to be familiar with a 10k and a 10q let me know if you guys want me to do a video as to how to analyze it in a little bit more detail but i would say go ahead to um i think it's sec.gov but i'm gonna have the website on the screen for you guys go to it and look up some random companies look up apple or whatever other companies and just see what does a 10k look like what does a 10q look like because those are the things that you are going to be seeing throughout your audit career and i want you guys to be familiar with it going in i want you guys to be as familiar as possible with it upon you starting your career all right guys so that is pretty much it this was a super quick video i just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips that came into my mind as to things you need to know prior to starting your accounting or public accounting journey let me know any other questions you guys have down in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer that for you guys i love you guys and i will see you in my next video